<laughs> hey everybody, this is not a spring check and yes, oh my gosh, you will not believe that the president believes he has a mandate. So, the changes are coming faster down that pike than you can, <laughs> yeah, I think people think that, wait a minute, this is like that lame duck period before they change administrations, although they supposedly have the same administration, pretty much so. Um, but I think they think people are already in the holiday mode because I think they're trying to slip a few things by. Or are they kind of anxious before? Oh, well, I guess you're going to have to wait because we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Yeah. Wow. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, uh, this is Occupy. A uh, member, member, Mommy's family has been hiding out since the Occupy movement took her name away from her. But uh, uh, basically, the Republicans are, the, the President of the United States on his press conference has just basically gave the Republicans, it's my way or the highway. I take no, he takes no responsibility for the economy. George Bush is responsible. And if the Republicans don't give him everything he wants, which is basically increased taxes on businesses and everybody making any living whatsoever, and he has no cuts on any domestic programs and only cuts out of the military, then they will be solely responsible for going off the fiscal cliff and causing the unemployment problems. I mean, th this guy, I mean, I, I, oh, I, Occupy, you know what Occupy told me? He just said the president actually never took responsibility for either one of his daughters either. What? Because he takes no responsibility for anything. So who do you think actually is the father since he won't take responsibility for it? Oh, and Democrats plan to raise taxes on the wealthy. $1.6 trillion added to all the new fees are going to have to be paid to make Obamacare work. Oh, yeah. They said Obamacare, uh, there's, a ta there's a surtax on everybody making money in the country over $90,000. Uh, you're going to have to pay for those people under $90,000 for their health care for them. All the businesses, one after another, uh, you know, are finding out the realization that Obamacare can't be made to work. And they said the government's going to have to pick up all of the costs, which means you're going to have to raise taxes even more. But put it this way, folks, if you weren't paying anything for health care before, you're going to be paying for it now. And boy, you're going to be paying for it now. You know, doctors are also leaving. The, they said they're going to, they told the people they're going to quit being doctors. I mean, I, I know, you know a few doctors that are basically dancing in nightclubs, picking up more money in a nightclub than they're going to be able to pick up off of Obamacare. Ooh, that's bad. And UK campaigners call for the Nobel Prize for shot Pakistani girl. Because she stood up for somebody. You don't, this basic, you don't give Nobel Prize. That's not what Nobel Prize is. You don't is. give a Nobel Prize for doing the right thing. You know, they give you for doing something uh, that other people wouldn't do. So, I mean, there have been a lot of people before the young lady that were killed and had much worse done. But uh, we also got another thing from, here's one that affects the people in California uh, and in New York. It seems that the people connected to the Obama administration are looking into forcing businesses that do business in the United States to stay in the United States, uh, including the film and entertainment industry, that uh, we've got to stop people going to Canada. We have to stop people going to Mexico. We have to stop people, the James Bond thing. We have to stop all of that. They must be made, forced to stay in this country by a presidential order if necessary. Isn't that, Oh, nice that people, is bad. The president's going to take your living away from you because those people are not going to work here, period. They won't work They're here. They're just going to move out like the porn industry is moving out of California and moving over it into Nevada where they don't have the same laws. Because nobody wants to see the... Okay, you don't go to porn film to see what you can see at home. <laughs> no, the sex all is out of the porn industry under the new... Are you industry. serious? Oh, yeah, you can't really have sex anymore. Wait, wait a minute. Is that just in California? or That, that would be in California. They passed the legislation that basically deems sex to be evil. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen in the prime time. And yeah. All. yeah. Well, that's and, all, that's all, but none of that's for real. And the porn industry is for real. Since they are the only part of the entertainment industry that makes a profit. That a is problem. real. Yeah, yeah. That makes a profit. Baby's post-surgery pic goes viral. Uh, everything goes viral. We just went viral a few minutes ago, so. What is the post? It's like, uh, yeah. I have no idea. 
Yeah. African Teen Girls unveil urine powered generator at exhibition. Yeah, well, what it is is they got a whole bunch of Wheatons, and when a Wheaton lifts their leg, you know what it's like. It's just so much power in that. Blast. Why in the world would you want to because hear it? Because it, it, it's, it's called green. They're trying to use, okay, instead of, of uh, uh, putting the, the, using the toilet waste through, the, you know, cleaning it up, they're going to use it to make power, which actually it could be because I've actually seen it done. Well, yeah, know? they could use urine, they could use water, I mean, either way, but that's got to stink to high Oh, it's got to smell like I mean, you would not believe. Like horrid. I mean, you don't want to be around Monty when she takes a leak on something. Ooh. <laughs> And man planned to dump bucket of horse manure on Prince Charles. I don't know why they, 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 they don't like the. You can always tell if somebody under the age of 30 is what it was because the under the age of 30. Okay, here's the problem. The, uh, the big people like, oh, oh. Occupy says, you know what the problem is with people like Bill O'Reilly? Is they think that young people can be changed. No, a young socialist always becomes an old socialist. That's the way it works in this world, folks. Mm -hmm. They don't change the socialist ideas. And will immigration flip flop via when uh, GOP votes? Okay, they don't need. Okay, isn't the election over with? Okay, the election. No, but they're talking about the vote for the next election. You okay? Uh, I'm going to explain it like they did on the, on one of the late night talk shows. They had making fun where they were doing a man on the street, and the guy, the reporter, went up and asked, went out, you know. Uh, what do you think living in the United States? He said, I, I, I voted in my first election this year. And I only voted once like all the other Americans. They said, well, are you a citizen? Well, no. Mm -hmm. See, that's the... So, oh, did that really happen? Okay, you're never... Okay, the votes that you're not supposed to be getting in the first place, you can't count. So they got... Obama got 70% of the... He got 70% of the illegal vote. Mm -hmm. So... And the U.S. general demoted for lavish travel and spending. I know, you don't demote a general for spending because that's what they do, folks. So what, but what it means is Obama is systematically removing everybody in a position of power in the military and in the intelligence industry. He's consolidating his power in this country. And Ryan, shocked at loss, Obama won fair and square. No, he didn't, because they're trying to make excuses. Well, George Bush got 100% of the vote. No, he didn't. Well, George Bush had 109% of the vote. No, he didn't. George Bush did this. George Bush did that. Okay, you can find whole precincts where, where Romney didn't get one single vote. One vote. And where Obama got 109% of the vote. Hmm, huh, I wonder how that happened. And plane crashes in Jackson, Mississippi neighborhood. Yeah, they're not, there's a rule of thumb when you fly a plane, you don't put